were you a SWAT guy or were you a motorman? And what I mean by that is, like, the motor guys, uh, they're just two different elements, or are you just like a hybrid of both? Like, it's one SWAT dudes, I imagine, you know, working out and going to the gun range and stuff. And, right. and then you got the motormen that are like, you know, they hang out off of work and very, uh, very tight knit. i um, not saying the SWAT guys aren't tight, but they're super tight. I know motormen are really tight, tight where they go on their personal uh, motorcycles and they go on like road trips to North Carolina and yeah. they drive through the mountains and things like that. See how he's smiling? He's like, yeah. yeah. Because I did that too. Yeah. You know? And um, and when I, when I came on to the motor unit, so first I was in SWAT. Yeah. Um, I got on, on the SWAT team like within two years on the department. And then uh, probably two years after that is when when I became a motor officer. Um, so, yeah, there was a lot of great, you know, friendships and, you know, people I still talk to that are retired from both SWAT and motors. And at that time that I went to motors, one of my mentors, Bill, was, you know, he was in motors and SWAT. Yeah. <laughs> Another guy, motors and SWAT. Oh, and so then like one that. of the guys that went through SWAT school with me, Mike, he was uh, a motorman and then went through SWAT. So it's like there was at one point... There was four of us, but even before that, at one point, there was six guys that were both motors and SWAT. Mm. So it was one of those things, you know. And I know when I think it was, I think you were at the time, and this is why I was this is why one of the reasons why you're here. But at, at the time, you were doing a DUI, that DUI checkpoint, and another guy interviewed you. That was that was you were comma- but you were a commander at that time. I was the lieutenant of the motor. Well, unit the lieutenant, right. the commanding officer of yeah. that that unit. And then, uh, it, well, there's a there's a vlog on YouTube, and then this is where I first learned about this. Um, and there's a little more passion. There was a little more passion, um, and not that you weren't passionate before, but right. there was another driving force as to why you were doing things that you were doing out there. For instance, um, that that one was a DUI uh, checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah, it was yeah, a, it was a it checkpoint. Was, it was a little Havana. And then you you uh, told the story how your sister was killed by a DUI. Uh, crash Correct. that happened. Um, somebody who was drinking and driving crashed into her vehicle, and she passed away. So um, today we wanted to just kind of rehash that story. I, I know it's a tough one to tell, but there's a reason because um, turns out that the the person uh, is the, who killed her is a fugitive Correct. running from the law still to this day, and that was seventeen seventeen years seventeen years ago. Yeah. So. I don't know if you want to walk us through from sure. the from the get, um, just kind of so so the audience, this audience, fresh set of eyes and ears can kind of understand what, it. Yeah, yeah. what was happening. 